I'm Mark. I want to show today some of the cool things we're working on. Uh, I want to show that besides the warehouse we have before, we have a new warehouse now, which is our R&D shop. So this extension here is fully dedicated to research and development. So this is our R&D shop. Uh, we have our showroom here. And this is where we build all of our tools, uh, fixtures, and all the prototypes. But the R&D room is in here, so this is where the I want to show the where the magic starts. See, everything here starts with a concept, a sketch, a design, and this is where the magic starts. So this is Lynn. Lynn, you know Lynn, Hi. and yeah. she's our, our engineer. She's working on a new project, and that's Danny. Our engineer is working on all these new products, new concepts, new fixtures. And today we're going to show some of this cool thing we're working on, which is the, this tool here. It's the uh, mainframe uh, notcher and slaughter. Uh, Link can you zoom in on the slot here. So it's the tool to make this kind of operation. Uh, and right now we do this by hand. We have this tool, but our um, X saver he has to crank by hand. So what we're doing, we're adding uh, a DC motor to, to drive the carriage, and we're adding two air motors. Look at that. That's that's what happens. And we're adding two air motors um, so that we can drive the notchers automatically. And we're also adding an air cylinder that we can uh, put a stress relief hole at the end of the notch the way we like. Um, and all automatically, which is that red one is the air cylinder hole. hole. So, so coming this way, uh, anyway, this is the room where we do all the design sketching and design of new products and and the prototypes. So I'm gonna show the secret secret room. No, <laughs> this is the secret room. This is the secret twice. So here is the uh, mechanism we're working on. This is a uh, electronic and pneumatic mechanism. So everything that is all there uh, on Lynn's computer, uh, it's in here. So basically, what this tool is going to do, uh, I'm going to show what this is. This is um, Mark. I like to zoom in on this thing. This guy here. This is a PLC, which is like a little computer, and it's programmable. So with this cable here from the laptop, you can hook into this PLC, and you can program. This is. Um, all of this looks like uh, complicated, but it's a lot simpler than it looks. Basically, this is a series of input switches with output signals. Uh, what I have here is the start button to trigger to start the whole mechanism, and then I have two limit switches that are link the input of the PLC. And on the output side, which is this guy's here, uh, I have two relays to control the motor. And I have two relays because I wanted to move the motor in both directions and make it stop. So that's the only way that I thought I could do that. And there might be better ways, but that's how I figured that out, to use two relays. Uh, and I have uh, three air valves. This air valve has two ports to control the cylinder here because the cylinder, it's a double acting cylinder. So when you get air here, it pushes out, gets air here, it pushes in. And then you have two other solenoid valves that, can, these are simpler valves, are just on and off valves. So this valve controls this first motor, and this valve controls this second motor. And I, I put some flow uh, valves, airflow valves, so that you can adjust the speed of the motor, as well as the speed of the cylinder. And then you have many add-ons, like the pressure regulator and the lubricator. Uh, and we're going to assemble this fixture up tomorrow. So today I'm just going to show this working a little bit. Uh, this is in running mode. I'm going to press this. When I press this, this motor will start uh, spinning counterclockwise. When you saw on this computer, the whole carriage is going to set up all the way to the starting point. So this guy's counterclockwise. And when the whole carriage hits the limit switch, this guy here, this motor is going to stop. And after a little bit, this motor is going to go on. So. And this is 
turning clockwise now. And that goes on now, which is the second notch. And this is going to be spinning, and this is driving the whole carriage, and there's two motors spinning, building the slot, until this switch is triggered. When I hit this switch, this is going to pull. And after a certain time, this starts playing counterclockwise, this push back and this is gonna shut off like in a few seconds. That's the end of the presentation. Uh, it look, it's, it's really simple than it looks and uh, it's gonna help us immensely to automate the company more and more from now on. And we hopefully, maybe the next step, we're gonna show you everything on the tooling uh, working so you can see the final result of it. Bye.